Howdy, I'm Tim, and welcome to the Mr. Maple Show. Today, we've got a, a question that we get all the time through our emails, and we decided we we're gonna answer it in one of our videos. If you have a question that you'd like to see answered on the Mr. Maple Show, make sure to comment in the comment section below, or go to facebook.com, and in the Mr. Friends group on Facebook, post your question there. We greatly appreciate you watching this video. Please like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and sign up for our weekly emails on mrmaple.com. The best way to support this YouTube channel is by shopping on mrmaple.com. Today's question is, can I use a timer with my irrigation system on Japanese maples? This gets to be more complicated than a lot of people really want. Uh, in the early spring and the summer, the plant's gonna need more water than it does in the fall. So you, if you do put one on a timing system, you're gonna have to adjust the water ratios and the amount of time that it's watered during the spring and the summer. But one thing to keep in mind is that local weather patterns, be it rain or a lot of clouds in the area, may affect the amount of, that you need to water your Japanese maple. Japanese maples don't like a lot of water. So the number one problem you can do with a Japanese maple is overwatering. That's something you don't wanna do. And that's often what happens when someone uses a timer because we put it on a system thinking that this is gonna be a good amount of water and that plant isn't drying out before it needs water again. So if you have a plant on a watering system, be very conscious of this. We don't wanna overwater your Japanese maple. Make sure that your timer, if you are using one, allows time for it to dry out before it gets watered again. Because root rot is a very serious condition when it comes to Japanese maples. So make sure that as this season progresses, in spring, you may need water. In summer, you may need more water. In the fall, you're gonna need less water. And then during the winter, not nearly as much water. And so a timer tries to be a fits all uh, for all your needs for watering, when the best thing to do is to go out there and water it when it needs water or let it dry out, or when, let that plant get established and let the rain take care of it as it's going. Uh, that's often a great way you can do it, especially if you live in a more mild climate. Now, I'm not saying that you can't use timers because you definitely can. So make sure to think about this whole process whenever you're putting a timer on an irrigation system for a Japanese maple. You know, different soils, different climates, different weather conditions, different humidity levels. This can all affect your watering. And you make sure you want to watch our video. We've got a whole video on watering your Japanese maples. And when you're putting your irrigation out, and if you're using a timer, watch that video. It'll really help you understand when I should water, how much I should water. You know, if you have a plant that's just getting established, it's gonna need a little more water than something that's established out in the landscape and take a little more care of itself. And so it's really important to pay attention to these little details whenever you're putting a Japanese maple out in your landscape and garden. Japanese maples are extremely easy to grow. They're actually very, very simple. You can often put one in the ground in the early spring or fall and the plant will take care of itself. But overwatering is one of the biggest issues we see with Japanese maples. And I just wanna make sure that when you're using a timer, you're not overwatering your Japanese maple because we see this all the time and we want your Japanese maple to perform well for you. I hope this video has given you a little more confidence in growing Japanese maples and answered some of your questions about growing Japanese maples with timers on your irrigation system because I think this is one of the top things that can go wrong with Japanese maples. Uh, I really hope that uh, you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you like this content, make sure to comment in the comment section and share this with your gardening friends. And also remember to shop on mrmaple.com. Take care, God bless, and have a great day.